All right, welcome back, y'all. The storm has ended. Yeah, probably wasn't completely necessary for me to do that, but I wanted to experience it anyway. So let's continue our journey. So yeah, out here, out towards the desert, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with the desert yet. That'll be a whole other thing. Hmm. What are you? Nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's not really a whole lot of good places for bases, from what I'm seeing. Little islands like that would be good for PvP. What is that? Oh yeah, it's ruins. I forgot this is a story arc, so there's gonna be ruins. Let's kill this guy. All right. Ooh, I leveled up. Let's put that into health. Just because this is definitely not my strongest Terra. Because I left all my strong Terras. They're my breeding Terras. What the hell is this? Decaya? Something damaged a water pipe outside of town yesterday. When a crew went to repair it, they were attacked by a whole mint of mantises. <clears throat> My boys and I drove them off, but we were too late to save the engineers. I know it sounds crazy, but I think those mantises cut through that pipe on purpose to draw us out. If I'm right, then I'm more concerned about them than anything. And the story's about Big Isle and Coyote. Big Isle was a huge scary one, but Coyote was, much, was more dangerous because he was clever. He tricked man and monster alike, and everybody feared him. I never believed those stories, but I sure remembered the lesson. Oh, okay, so he was a, uh, he was the western guy. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Because I know there was, like, an, an Egyptian priestess and a, uh, like a gun, a western gunslinger guy that are new in this arc. Paris or Saddle? Yeah, no. I don't plan on having parasers. Where am I now? Yeah. Hey, Rex. Let's see what you are. What will you are? Twenty. Yeah. I'll venture a little. Is that another ruin? What in the heck? Oh, that's salt. <coughs> Yeah, might as well get the salt while I'm here. Pretty sure I'm not gonna need more than that. Whoa, look at this. It's a whole city out here. Man, this is pretty cool. This is one of the things that I love that they incorporated in this game. It's like that there used to be ancient civilizations out here and then they left all their ruins behind. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. I love exploration. It reminds, like, these types of ruins and stuff remind me of uh, playing Conan Exiles. Just because that game was awesome. You're on a huge, oh, oh, huge exploration factor to it. What is that? Why is that blue? Hmm. Oh. It's like this whole abandoned city out in the desert. It's so cool. Ooh, a little laggy. You'd figure that the, being in this enti entire city, there would be you would imagine that there would be some explorer notes here. What is that? Oh, dung beetle. <laughs>
I have never seen a Harpagornis before, but no, that's a vulture. Okay. You would figure that in this big city, <clears throat> this big abandoned city, that there would be an explorer note somewhere. I'm just gonna find my way in. Hmm. Really? Dumbass. Dumbass. <clears throat> See if I can figure out. Oh, salt, salt deposit. There's the way in. Oh, oh, lagging. Wow. See, this is cool. This is so cool. Okay. There is a, a nice little cave down here. Where is my. Alright. I'm gonna have to remember this. Because I am pretty sure I am not prepared for a cave journey just yet. Oh shit, something's getting. My bird's getting attacked. <clears throat> Fuck. Great place to lag. Okay, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna pass out. Pass out up here at least. Do I have any berries? Any stems? Woo! Need some. S oh, need some stems to my bird. Ooh, that was close. All right. Well, that's definitely something I'm gonna have to remember. That there is. <coughs> a cave in this nice underneath the city in the main building. Alright, cool. So it looks like there's some water over here. I don't just want to build in some boring location like just because there's water. Ooh, which I actually. There's a drop right there. Cool. Let's see what you got. What do you got? Caprasuit just saddle. Meh. So there's a puddle of water here. And I mean, I don't necessarily need there to be puddle of water as long as I have like a water vein. Is this more water? I'll turn that off. Let's follow this. Yeah, so we got <clears throat> little areas of water of which I believe I'm in this creek bed, so oh, yeah. Huh, never saw that. Oh, that's where my base is right there, green. Okay. I guess let's just follow this along and see. This is creek bed. Obviously it's gonna have bits of water. But no real good places for bases. Or at least interesting places for bases. Isn't that a rock column? No. No, okay. Alright, no. Let's see what this place has to offer <clears throat> salt. This little mountain. Salt. Is there seriously not even metal here? Huh. Oh boy. It's starting to get dark. The way everything looks, but it's nothing that's like base worthy. Hmm. Obviously, I need to find something that's by water. If I want it to be somewhere that it actually looks good. Oh, that's 
getting dark. <coughs> This looks like it would be a pretty secure. <coughs> oh no, see, it's got two entrances. Um, my mind is still thinking PvP. Oh, see, right here. Right over here is where Neebs Gaming had one of their bases. I believe their base was right here. Yeah, it was right here. Oh, okay, hi, unit dogs. Yeah. So this wouldn't be too terrible in terms of like PvP. Whoa, what is that doing there? Why is that there? Is there something. Usually when you see that, that means there's an artifact nearby. But, uh... <coughs> I don't know. This is a pretty cool map. I like it. Hmm. I'll have to do some more exploring in the morning. I guess, uh, I guess we'll sit and wait. So I guess we'll see you guys once the morning happens. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? This is the perfect time to call it an end for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. I'll see you on the next one.